Hey everyone, I got a mail call, but I decided to do it with a special guest today. So today is my daughter's birthday. This is Haven. Hi. So she's going to help me check out the new stuff. So the first package comes to us from Hawaii. So this is from Ken. Uh, oh, Shave326. Uh, so Ken was doing a week of giveaways and I won, I think it was the first day. So let's see what we got here. Got to be smarter than the box. All right, so in here we got got a soap and a balm. So Sterling Eucalyptus Mint. I've tried a lot of Sterling products. This is one of the scents of theirs that I have not tried. So that's what it looks like, and it smells very much like a, eucal a eucalyptus mint. So true to the description. What do you think? I like it. Kind of smells like that, like nail stuff. I remember mom used to put it like on our nose if our noses were stuffy. They were kind of like minty. -ish. Like vapor rub. Mhm. Mm it's got a little vapor rub. It's a little earthier than that, I think, though. Mhm. Mm like so the eucalyptus is more earthy. So that's that's a nice scent. So, like I said, got that from Ken over at Shade Three Two Six, and both the soap and the balm. So thanks, Ken. So the next one, I got. You guys probably recognize the uh, wrapping paper again. So, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, one of my favorite vendors, and I was kind of overdue for an order from them. So the first thing in there is Droid. Uh, so this is Saturday, September 4th, so Droid Black uh, just came out today. If you guys like the old Floyd Black aftershave, that's what this is based on. Um, so go check that out. Um, I'll put a link to Droid as well as all the other stuff in my description. So the first thing I got is the Prickly Pear, let's, let's make sure I get it right. The prickly pear pre-shave star jelly. So I, I'm not a huge fan of the cube, unfortunately. Um, I I typically use oil. I actually use Phoenix's pre uh, beard oil as a pre-shave. Um, but I decided to check out their star jelly pre-shave instead uh, because I do like their star jelly aftershaves. So it doesn't have a scent really. It's it's very neutral. So it's. It doesn't really have a smell. It's, it's, ooh. Well, we know not to do that again. It's not, yep. that, it's not that firm. Nope. So the next thing I got is something that's been on my list for a long time. I had the star jelly of this, but I never actually got the soap and splash until now. It's at Modic. So this, oh, it's it's a really nice powdery, almost gourmand, but not quite. It's it's supposed to be like a barbershop in the sky. It smells like so, baby powder. So the picture the picture on it is kind of a steampunky uh, dirigible. That's what he describes it as: is a barbershop in the sky on the deck of a ship. And it's kind of got a, I think it's got an oak note in it, uh, but I love this scent. So excited about that one. Also got the aftershave as well. And then we'll have some fun checking these out. So might as well test them out while we're standing here, huh? Yep. They kind of look like test files in like a science lab or something. So I decided, um, I've smelled a few of these before, but it's been a while. Uh, but I decided to test a bunch of the bay rums. So this one is Coconut Bay. What do you think? Kind of smells like this lip gloss I had. It's like a roller and it's like coconut, but it doesn't smell like coconut. It smells like the lipstick. Eh, I get the coconut, but there's, yeah. Um, I, I like it. I'll have to see how much I like it once I put it on. So the next one I got is Pineapple Bay Rum. <gasps> I'm excited about this one. I like pineapple scents. So there was a time when you could only get this if you ordered one of the coffee mugs um, and it came inside the coffee mug. Oh, that's nice. I like it. It just doesn't really smell like pineapple. It doesn't smell like pineapple? Not to me at least. Do you know what it smells like to me? What? So some people say that Atom Atomic Bay Rum smells like this, but 
To me, this pineapple bay rum really smells like it. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit gum. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what the pineapple bay rum smells like to me. That's a nice one. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Since we talked about it just now, Atomic Bay Rum. This is one that I keep checking out every time I go to Razor Emporium. And the more I smell it, the more I think I like it, even though my initial reaction was just kind of so-so. Yeah. Mm, I like that one. It smells like a fruit snack or something. So my daughter says Atomic Bay Rum smells like a fruit snack. Um, I don't know if I'd go there, but... It definitely smells a little similar to the pineapple bay rum. Um, to me, the pineapple bay rum definitely smells more like juicy fruit than atomic bay rum does. Uh, but I'm anxious to see how that smells once I put it on my skin. And then I got the classico bay rum. There's a lot of like bay rum scents. So I did. I got I got most of the bay rums. Um, I think I didn't get Boomtown bay rum because I don't like gun powder. Um, so I skipped that one, but I got most of the rest of them. It's like kind of cinnamony. I don't know if I love that one. So if you guys don't know, um, one of the things that PAA is kind of known for is they don't put clove in their bay rums like so many others do. It's a really common bay rum ingredient, and uh, Douglas doesn't use clove. To me, this has a clovey sort of feel to it but it's not quite clove it's almost got a kind of metallic note to it um i like that more than most bay rums but i don't think i like it as much as atomic bay rum so we'll do a couple of the seasonals that i picked up the samplers too strange island what do you think of strange island kind of smells like peppermint tea hmm. kind of just some smells kind of salty to me actually yeah I don't, I don't dislike it, but I don't, I don't think this is one I would buy necessarily. Um, I'll use the sample just to see for sure, but yeah, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. Et Two, which is Douglas's take on Fabergé's Brut. I don't really, I, I, I did not have one of those dads that wore Brut growing up, so I don't really have the, the memory component of Brut like so many do. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's nice, but again, I don't love it. Another classic that I've never tried before, Lo Haiku. Another Hawaiian scent. Uh, no, I think this is one of the high karate scents. I don't know why I always thought Haiku was like Hawaiian. Haiku is a poem. Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure which, but it's, it's poetry, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a type of poem. We had to write one in fourth grade. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh yeah, I like that one. It kind of smells like nail polish. It's, well, I don't get the nail polish. It kind of smells like nail it, polish to me. It definitely has a floral note to it that I like. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that's that's probably my favorite one so far just because it kind of smells like nail polish. Maybe you think so, huh? So I'm saving one for last that I, I know I've tried before and I was kind of on the fence about. And I, I've always held off buying it because of the menthol in the soap. Um, but I can tolerate menthol, menthol if I only use it every once in a while. And I remembered liking this enough that it was worth another shot. So this is Good Vibrations. Isn't that a song? It is. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. I think I like that one. I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I like that one and then the one before it the best so far. Yeah, I think, I think Good Vibrations is going on my buy list, but we'll wait until I use the aftershave to see. So that's today's mail call. So happy birthday to my daughter Haven and thank you for helping me out. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.